Hello, YouTubers, potato heads. I thought you'd turn up here. I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And today I want to talk about Syria. Because, uh, interesting, this story came out, uh, that I think has some interesting implications. And that's the fact that Syrian Air Force has carried out 210 airstrikes in the last three days. And that seems fairly substantial. As it turns out, it is. Uh, before this, they were uh, still maintaining uh, 10 to 20 uh, airstrikes a day against their opponents, their opposition, uh, who supposedly the United States uh, supports, uh, unless it's ISIS, in which case the United States doesn't support them. So it's just uh, interesting to imagine the fact that now we have uh, United States, we have uh, warplanes by the United States, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, the jo Jordan, and Syria, uh, carrying out airstrikes in Syria. And uh, that's uh, an interesting combination. And uh, the other part of that that uh, makes it all the more interesting is that uh, these airstrikes have been in the east, the north, and the west. And uh, generally they're staying away from uh, where Americans are bombing. Uh, they're uh, certainly bombing around Damascus and uh, uh, most telling, a uh, bombing up in Aleppo. And we know that Aleppo is a, has had a struggle between uh, El Nusra uh, Front, uh, Al-Qaeda elements, and uh, ISIS uh, for quite some time. So now we have Syria taking advantage of the situation uh, to take care of some of their own opposition. But uh, most interestingly, uh, uh, Syria has been carrying out airstrikes in an eastern province uh, where the U.S. has also been bombing ISIS. And, of course, that brings up the natural question, how much... Uh, we know that uh, Damascus uh, has uh, essentially green-lighted U.S. intervention in Syria with these airstrikes, uh, but they've denied any kind of coordination. But I would have to assume that, uh, particularly if we have 210 airstrikes in three days, and some of those airstrikes include a province where the United States has been bombing ISIS. There has to be some kind of a, a coordination going on, I would have to assume. But uh, all the more interesting that we have uh, both the Syrian Air Force and the United States uh, Air Force bombing ISIS positions in the same province in Syria. So that's uh, pretty much the focal point of this story in this video. And, uh, and also... The, the once again this complex uh, game going on all across the Middle East and the Syrian component uh, we have uh, Assad government in, in Damascus, Syria taking advantage of US intervention and, and of course no matter how much national security advisors in the United States advise that this is exactly what would happen uh, it unfolds exactly that way and uh, Syria is uh, <laughs> Uh, being a force multiplier, uh, taking care of their own opposition. Of course, the, the ultimate irony here will be if Syria uh, ends up uh, bombing whatever is left of the so-called Free Syrian Army, whatever is left of the so-called, quote, moderate rebels, unquote, uh, who the United States was uh, counting on to uh, topple the Assad government once they're done with ISIS. Although, of course, uh, the United States and has told us we're never going to be done with ISIS, so uh, that must be a relief for Assad. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too?